Hello everybody, this is Star Road Warrior, and uh, what I'm doing right now is kind of doing a let's play, playthrough, whatever you want to call it, of the DLC that's on Resident Evil 5. So the Lost in Nightmares, Desperate Escapes, those two that I'm talking about. And um, I'm going to run through Lost in Nightmares just to kind of give you an idea of what it's like for those that haven't seen it or have thought about uh, maybe buying it or whatever. Um, right now I'm going to show you the extra figurines. Uh, you get these when you finish the game. Uh, this is Chris and Jill if you finish Lost in Nightmares. And then the Desperate Escape you get Battlesuit Jill and uh, Josh. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, these are two more that you get if you play as one of those in the Mercenaries Reunion. And then this is another one. This is just their suits that you uh, that you can get to play the Mercenaries Reunion, which is just basically the same thing with different costumes, I guess you could say. So, uh, yep, this is Lost in Nightmares. I'm going to do it on uh, single player, and I'm going to do it on amateur just because, well, just because. It's not really that hard if you do it on amateur or uh, professional. Um, there's just a little bit difference between the uh, enemies that appear on screen. For the Lost Nightmares, there's only one enemy throughout the whole game. And depending on the difficulty, you could see him just five, or you could see him up to ten times. Um, will be quite just a little bit so you can see the, uh, the opening cutscene. were ordered by the BSAA's European headquarters to apprehend him. We accepted that mission in the hopes of uncovering some info that would lead us to Wesker. Target's location. Copy that, Chris. Move in and procure the target. Roger that. What can you tell us about the area? The satellite scan isn't showing anything out of the ordinary, but regardless, you should expect the unexpected. Understood. I want you to notice a small error in the game right here. We're in. Let's move. She unlocks the left door, but he opens up the right door. Somebody wasn't paying attention. Anyway, okay, here's the start of it. Uh, you're in the mansion scene of Oswald Spencer, and uh, not really sure what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, you're supposed to apprehend him. And we'll go up these steps. Well, let's first investigate this. I can get a little X marker. There we go. Flesh blood. Fresh blood. Fresh blood. Go up the stairs and oh my god, there's a dead body. Ooh, nothing to that. Eagle Five to nest. Come in. Go ahead, Eagle Five. We've encountered some corpses, possibly Spencer's bodyguards. From what I can see, they appear to have been killed by unconventional means. Roger Somebody that. just Wayne jacked them up. Be a Big time. Rock. Use extreme caution. Not much to the stairs. There's a gate. Uh, gotta find a way to unlock it. Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. It's been a while since I've played the DLC. I don't remember exactly everything. I'll do my best. One thing I want to say is that I have done... I did this playthrough in about an hour. So that gives you... Uh, kind of an idea of how long it is on amateur. And that's, you know, like I said, it's just amateur, just running right through it. Now we have the gates. Now I gotta go back up the stairs. Another thing that I'm going to show throughout this video is uh, I've already gotten the stars for the achievement, but you can get them if you want to. There's one right here that I did not hit. I have terrible aim. Oh, 
screw it, I'll come back and get it later. Handgun ammo. And then I gotta get thrown over here. Either shotgun or sniper rifle. We kind of have a sniper. It don't matter. Ooh, shotgun. I'll take that. The guns, uh, other than your handgun that you start off with, the other ones that, that I'm going to show you are, um, they're different every time. So that could have been a sniper rifle or it could have been a shotgun. Uh, here's another skill star, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure how many there are in total, but I'll show you all the ones that I remember. Here we gotta get three passwords. That's the first thing I'm doing right now. And the first one's right here. This little memo book. Password one. And we'll go around and get the second password. Actually, before I do that, I'm actually gonna go in here and get a uh, another one of those silver stars. Not much to it. There's nothing else. Uh, just a odd bathroom. Then we go upstairs. Actually, I'm not going to get a passport up here. I'm going to get a crest so I can unlock a door. Read this little memo. Actually, I don't have time to read it. You can pause and read it, I don't care. Come over here and get some ammo. You can pick you that take up. It. Okay. And uh, the crest is behind that little uh, discolored wall, as Maybe you saw. Like Sonata. And I uh, the since last I'm time Jill, I, I have to play a piano, and my you partner, can still play it. You if right you um, play it as a co-op, your partner can actually shoot a switch that'll automatically drop the door. But seeing as the uh, my partner is the computer, or the AI, not very smart, so he's gonna wait till it drops all the way down and then go down there and hit the switch. But let's listen to Moonlight Sonata. If you were to play this on the uh, veterans professional, there would be a monster come up right here, zombie, whatever you call it. But since we're an amateur, there's not one. I'm just going to shoot through the door because I'm tired of opening it. So now I'm going to go get password number two. The enemies that you're going to see later on, they are not really that fast, so you can just walk around and avoid them. It's really helpful whenever you're um, low on ammo, or you don't waste any ammo, you want to save it to the end. Either way, because uh, they won't follow you throughout the game, you just run around them and avoid them, and that's it. Oh, here's another star. Here and get the next password, I believe. Yes, right here. It says password three, but we're gonna call it two for just just to be calling it two. And um, sometimes there's a gun over here. Sometimes there's not. It just depends. I think Chris may have picked it up. Let me see. Didn't pick it up. Come on! Okay! I thought there might be a gun here. It may have been some ammo or something, I don't know. So yeah, this wraps up the first part of the video. Um be sure to come back and see the second part of it. Uh, so until then, I am 